Apollo 11 was my first opportunity to see a launch, which I was looking forward to. Uh, the previous to that, all of them, I was in the control room with my little eight inch black and white television set in the ONC building, which is miles away, you couldn't even feel the rumber. The powers that be out here said, hey, there's gonna be such a gridlock of people in Brevard County for this launch and, and those coming on the center. If you're not a member of the prime launch team, stay home. I live in Titusville. I have at that time a, a one-year-old daughter and a seven-year-old boy. So I said, great, and we live just a couple of miles from the river. We load up the kids, get out the stroller, drive toward the river, get halfway there and have to park the car because it is just absolute gridlock in Titusville that you can't go anywhere in a car, so fine. Walk the rest of the way down the river. By the time we get to the banks of the Indian River in Titusville, it's just a few minutes before launch. And uh, interesting, there's no traffic moving on US 1's the highway, it's four lane, uh, but the cars are just sitting there, the trucks, people are sitting on the hood or the top of the cars, there's nobody honking their horns, and nobody's trying to go anywhere. There's pup tents pitched in the median of US 1 where people spent the night. And I'll never forget, there was a, was a woman who pulled a plug of sod or dirt out of the side of the road and put it in a plastic bag. And she said, well, I've just got to have a memento of this event, the, uh, the people selling trinkets, t-shirts, patches, decals, and whatever all along US-1. They're sold out of everything. I said, I've just got to have something that is part of me being here for this event. And of course, as you know, the, the count proceeded well. It lifted off and just the roar of the, of the crowd, people honking their horns, whatever, uh, the euphoria, I'll never forget that moment. And it was great to see a Saturn V finally, to see the real thing as opposed to my little black and white television set. I'm Bob Seek, and that's one of my previously untold stories from the Rocket Ranch. Thank you.